Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and I'm at Fat Quarter Shop preparing your next block of the month. Guess what? This is our last block. We have had so much fun doing the blocks. This one, the name is Crossroad Star. And I love this block. It makes a beautiful centerpiece in our quilt, but also it makes a beautiful quilt when you just use that block. We're gonna need some beautiful fabric. And I have light background with our big flowers to tie it all together. Then I have a medium light with a touch of pink on it and a little bit of a red. Then we have two reds and one pink. We are ready to cut our pieces. And just like with our first block, we cut squares and then cut from them. Let's review what you remember for what we have done. First pieces that we're going to cut are for our half square triangles. And I'm going to use my triangle paper that we have used also in other blocks that works really nice. And we're gonna be preparing for one and a half inch half square triangle. If you like the traditional way, we have both directions in a book and you can go that way. I cut two squares, there are five inches, and I'm gonna use them for my triangle paper units. I'm gonna place them right sides together and then position triangle paper right over just like this. So this is our piece A, first piece that we're gonna be making. Another piece that we need to cut is a little square D, and this is gonna be a center of our block. Then we're going to cut B and B are quarter square triangles. Quarter square triangle, let's refresh and see if you remember. When you need quarter square triangle, you're gonna cut a square, then you're gonna take that square and cut it twice diagonally, twice diagonally. Let me make myself some room here. And remember what I taught you? You will match the 45 degree line with the edge of your fabric, and then you're gonna check point to point and you're gonna make a beautiful cut and you're gonna do this twice diagonally because you want a four quarter square triangles so twice diagonally I have it done right here and cut it and now I would get four quarter square triangles right there and that's what we have just cut it for our B. So we need to cut those. Then a next piece that we're cutting is, um, we're gonna cut a C from that same fabric and it's just the low squares. So that's what we're going to need. Then we need, again, a quarter square triangles, twice diagonally for G. So that is going to be another one. And the same with the F, twice diagonally, for F quarter square triangles. Wow, a lot of quarter square triangles, but they're gonna be perfect. And remember why we're cutting them? Because we don't want bias on the outside of our units. So we can't cut half, it has to be quarter square triangles. So we have some half square triangles that we're going to make. We're gonna make them using our triangle paper. So now let's go for the assembly. Like I said, we're gonna keep the dark in the bottom, light on the top, right sides together. Why do I keep my dark fabric in the bottom and light on the top next to the paper? Because later on, when you finish your sewing and when you make your, cut your triangles apart, just like I'm cutting right here, on the straight line, we're sewing on a dotted line and we're gonna cut it on the straight line. As soon as you do that, notice it when you open it up, the paper pushes the triangle paper, the seam allowance towards the dark and you make really nice tri half square triangle unit. I have prepared a few of those and they're already done, ready, set, go. And what we are going to make from them is our first unit for our beautiful block. We need two squares, two half square triangle units. I did push the seam allowance, took the paper away, trim beautifully, bunny ears, got that ready. Remember, every time you finish a new unit, you trim it. And now we're going to place this right over 
this right over and we're going to sew and then as soon as we finish sewing and I like to use chain sewing technique chain sewing technique one after the other and what you can do is let me grab the little scissors separate them remember always leave yourself a little room so you can cut it apart as soon as you open it up look at this one two and when you rotate this makes a beautiful little unit push the seam allowance towards the square we're gonna place them right sides together just like this lock that seam put a pin in it so from here to here and we have a beautiful unit where when we open it up notice it it makes a beautiful low square as soon as you press it you can then trim it to a perfect size and we will make four of those for one block four of those for one block another unit that we're going to work on is made from our quarter square triangles and we are going to make this unit this way let me line one up for you and we have two quarter square triangle in pink one in background as well as we need our quarter square triangle in our darker background with the touch of pink on it why am i doing this because i want this to give me a little bit darkness for the center of my block so i want those to be different those two to be the same and what are you going to do is place them right sides together zoom 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 sew it let me show you how i did that right here i sew it again using chain sewing technique works very well we're gonna clip them apart and when you open it up push the seam allowance towards the pink the same on this side push the seam allowance towards the pink if you do that notice when you have to put those units together they're beautifully going to lock and give you a great center i love to put a pin right through that middle holding those two together sew it straight down and look at this i just finished one and again if you would like to you can open that center really nice for our future quilting or stitching to get a really cute center on the back just like that press it and guess what let's grab our little ruler that four and a half inch and square out all our units to three and a half by three and a half so we just finished four of those and we need to square them up that is going to be the next thing we are going to do it so everything is ready i have some already square up and ready to lay out our block as usual i like to start with the center of my block and see what i got for the center then i start building around with my pieces making sure that all my fabric are positioned in the right places notice those quarter square triangle units have the light onto the outside the darker light towards the inside to frame this block beautifully for me just like this and don't take and do something like that no no pay attention that everything is going in the right direction i always lay out my blocks double check make sure there is no low threads hanging around everything is clean and ready set go i check the directions of the fabric look at, at the coloring if there is a position of a leaf or pink that i want to I just love to be fussy and care careful where I place my colors, even in the quilts, simple, fun quilts and blocks like this. Now we go and separate everything to three rows, row number one, two, and three. Sew our pieces together, just like this, pushing the middle seams, the middle row seam towards the center, outside rows seams to the outside and i'm doing this towards the outside because i don't want to bend the corners so it works a little bit better if you push it that way then lock the seams sew it together make one 
for the center of your quilt right here. Look at how beautifully it ties everything together. And I have your big print red floating through the quilt, spinning around and just creating a beautiful picture. And it ties it to the color of the border that we have chose for you really nice. So always when you make a quilt, you wanna tell a little bit story and bring the color from the middle to the outside of the quilt. And notice our little four uh, nine patch fabric ends up to be our binding on the outside. But more about the assembly of the quilt in our next video. I look forward to see you soon.